how's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw Eyeless Jack. It's a creepy pasta character. It's just going to be like a hoodie and a mask. Um, very, very, very simple. If you're a beginner, you will be able to do this. So let's jump into it, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the mask. So I'm going to go over here and I draw a curved line here for the top of the mask. It's almost like a V for Vendetta style looking mask. All right. Down over here for one side. Go over here in the far end. Down over here in the far end. Down over here. That's the edge of the chin over there. Edge of the jaw, I mean. Down over here. And curve underneath. Line over here. The circle. Circle. Uh, well, it's the shape of the nose there. It's going to be in an in indention in the mask itself. Curve shape. It's like a big marshmallow for the eye socket. Curve over here. For the same thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that in. Okay? I'm going to fill that in. Fill in that eye socket. Most of these markers are dried. Sorry, forgive me. While I'm doing that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. When you do that, it helps the algorithm out and it's just a great, great thing to do uh, as far as for the channel goes. We're a seasonal channel, but I do put a video every single day, okay? It's gonna be scary in some way. Could be creepypasta, could be, could be anything. Well, it could be like bad guys, I was gonna say. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna lean on the dark end. It's not gonna be uh, like happy, usually. Uh, let me fill that in a little bit more. All right. Next thing I do is I want to I want to have the uh, his eyes are gonna have like I guess it looks like blood or something, but it's more like blackness, maybe like tears. So I'm gonna go like this. Draw lines. Another line over here coming out. Different lengths, different sizes. Right on. That's on one eye. Over here, the other one. Like so. And now you have the tears coming off out of the other eye. I'm gonna draw a straight line down here for the neck, down here for this neck, for this side of the neck. Relatively skinny neck. Now I'm gonna put a line over here for this side of the hoodie. Line over here for this side of the hoodie. And I'm gonna draw a line all the way up on that side. Curve. Line down, and pulling in there. It's gonna be the inner part of the hoodie. Let's draw the outer part, right? Out over here. Down. Curve in. Line here, curve in, curve in. Line over here, down. Curve in here, curve in here, curve in here, and line here for that part of the hoodie. If you want, you can fill up, and I guess we're going to have to do that, but all of my markers are dry. I need more markers. Um, but you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it with a different marker here. I found one, but I would fill this in dark. There we go. This Copac. This one has a different shade of, of black, actually. Over 
here. Don't forget to hit the like button. This channel lives on likes. Likes are the lifeblood of the channel. So absolutely do that. If you like any of the video, hit that like as well. The like uh, signifies that, you know, somebody watched it, somebody will enjoy it, and they're going to recommend it on the feed more often. So absolutely do that if you can. There you go. And you know what? While I'm at it, let me fill this in a little bit more. There you go. That's it. Whew. Yeah, recommend more creepy pasta characters to me, guys. Um, they're pretty fun. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next video, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Uh, don't forget to say hi to me in the comment section. I will say hi to back. I will reply to every single comment. So say hi, okay? Thank you so much. I will talk to you next time, and I'll see you very, very soon. Later. Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that, you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that. That's fun. But for some people, some people want to upgrade their art ability entirely, like all around, like they're serious about it. If that's you, go here. Um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material. Like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both. But like I said, if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here how to draw a dragon head i have anime i have cartoons there's categories for everything and everything is for beginners um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it this is like the netflix of like drawing lessons so you can go through the entire site see everybody else's lessons and normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month um, because you're watching this video right now if you're still watching right now you get it for free for at least a month like 30 days, that's a lot. Um, but just you, what you have to do is go over here to the video, go down first link in the description, the very, very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days. Um, you just go over here, you click this thing, boom, and then you sign up. Um, and it's super easy. And the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up and you never pay a single thing. You never pay a cent, and you got all this learning from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys wanna do it, absolutely go hit that up. Um, and that's it.